Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is just an ongoing catch you up to date on what was going on. Um, I did have a male breast cancer and they did a mastectomy on me. <clears throat> so what I wanted to catch you up on was they took out my pump and though you might have seen that in the last video, I wanted to get everybody kind of caught up. As you see here, I was allergic to the, t to the adhesive um, on the tape um, just a little band-aid dish just to cover the hole. Now, they said that that can take uh, a week before it seals up, so I will be keeping an eye on that. Um, I went to my primary doctor today and he took a look. He said, even though I know it looks horrible, um, everything looks great. He said, um, stitch-wise and where, how they did everything, he said they did a great job, so I'm pretty happy. Um, I have, uh, you might be able to see right here, is actually I still have some bruising and I still have some touchies that are right in here. Everything is still very tender, obviously, of course. My surgery was on uh, November 17th. So uh, they said, and even though you may not feel it, it'll take months. And as my primary doctor said, maybe up and into including a year, it just depends on how everything, um, how I am as a healer. Um, if you have that, if you notice here, here's a line here, here's a line here. What I did before, just to make it on easy on everybody, is uh, because most men are hairy, um, I took my beard shaver and I went across and I actually kind of cut a square out and as well as under my arms, just to make everything nice and clean and clear for them the best I can. And of course they finished up whatever they needed to cut in the operating room. This way they weren't having to go through a bunch of hair and wasting a lot of time. So if you end up having the same problem as I have, um, then you, you'll have an idea at least what to kind of do to get ready for it. Um, I was pretty nervous during surgery. I ended up talking to the doctor that did my surgery and uh, she said everything went great. She said there was no problem. It was not invasive. Uh, cancer. Uh, they only took the one lip note out. They didn't have to go any further than that, thank God. And she was um, very happy and pleased. And, you know, you, you're a little nervous in there to see exactly you know, what kind of cancer you got and, you know, where it sits at. And um, sometimes the look on the doctor's face when they walk in can tell you a lot. And, you know, she, you could tell she had a smile on it. So that was, that was pretty good. So, now it's all about the healing and um, my uh, primary doctor did say take a washcloth not while i'm in the shower but dry and just kind of go over it to try to help desensitize the skin so i will be working on that um picking up stuff with my hands not that great um and i try to actually it i have actually pulled something in here so that that didn't help so uh, as the wife says, take it easy. You have to take it easy. I mean, as men, we may not, but we have to take it easy. My, my hand pretty much stays here most of the time. And if I go out, I cover it here with my left hand while I'm walking. Um, for a seatbelt, when you get to that point, I have an actual, it almost looks like a heart, but it's a strawberry. It's a little strawberry um, uh, pillow and it just fits right. And so this way, when it goes over, even as a passenger, it goes on top of that. It's probably about that thick. And like I said, it's not very big, probably about that big. So something to think about as well. Um, don't overdo it, guys. Do not overdo it, because uh, you will feel it. Um, I did one day, and for one whole day, I was literally down because I was in so much pain that uh, I just couldn't do anything. You want to help the wives or you want to help your spouse or your significant other. Uh, you, sometimes you just can't. Uh, things that need to get done will just have to wait until you get to that point to where you can do them. But this is my update. I know it's not easy to look at, uh, both the scars and me. But um, again, there's not a lot of information out there for the guys. So I, that's why I'm, I'm doing this so that everybody can have. Now, I was taking oxycodone. Uh, I'll take it if I need it. 
but um, and ibuprofen 800 uh, there's another one I'm taking as well for the pain um, but the problem I'm having is because I'm having really bad itchies literally all over my skin uh, you probably won't be able to see it but right up in here um, I have a really bad rash and so the my primary doctor is going to see about doing some Zyrtec or something something that can keep me from itching uh, here on the belly um, is really bad and once I get going it is hard to stop so may I suggest if you have really bad itchies cut your fingernails don't try to use your fingernails just try to use your regular fingertips to help scratch because my whole body is itching so I actually have and it's you wouldn't be able to tell but I can um, my I have a lot of red and my hands are red my belly is red uh, a lot of things are red and so he figured an antihistamine or so will will help me so we'll keep that in mind um, do your medication uh, even if you're having a good day do your medication keep it going because it keeps it in your system and it keeps the pain down level down low um, I slept on my couch for well since the 17th and I just started sleeping in my regular bed uh, yesterday which um, was I believe the December 8th so from November, November 17th to December 8th I slept on my couch and the reason why I did that was because when you have the the suction and the bulb coming down you don't want to pull that out in any sense of the word because now you're going back in you're just creating more problems so I find that sleeping on the couch as long as you have a good backing that you you sleep basically either on your back or to your side but it won't allow you to turn if you're a twister uh, in the bed it won't allow you to do that because when you start you kind of get you kind of stop and you end up waking yourself up so I felt for my bob a lot to make sure it was okay and the draining was okay but I also would suggest if you have that keep that in mind sleep it's okay sleep on the couch um, if you have a comfortable couch that that much more of a plus but it'll keep you from turning and hopefully uh, not knocking the the suction that comes out of your side and into your into your bulb it'll keep that from coming out so that was the, probably my biggest uh, worries that I had was sleeping and knocking it out so but now everything's all good now I'm just into the healing stage uh, my um, my breast doctor has me now going to a medical oncologist which is my next appointment I will still see my breast um, my breast cancer doctor uh, um, as she says she kind of has to wean me off so I have an appointment uh, of December uh, I'm sorry January 4th of 2023 because we're in 2022 now in December and uh, I'll go and she'll recheck me out and then after that it's like one month three months she said six months nine months getting it to the year year and a half, two years, three years, four years. This is something that is gonna be an ongoing thing for the rest of my life that I'm gonna to have to check to make sure that I don't have cancer going into my bones or going into cancer into my other chest or as to wherever cancer would go that would you know mess me up. So we're gonna keep an eye on that. So the medical oncologist uh, that I'm going to, he will let me know if I need to take um, uh, radiation or if I need chemotherapy which she said it doesn't look like I will need that but she's gonna let the medical examiner uh, come to that conclusion or um, uh, give me a um, give me an estrogen blocker so the estrogen because all men uh, we have since we have nipples we still have ducts and so the estrogen blocker since we make estrogen will just block that and that should keep this side safe so and um, it's from what I've read it's supposed to go after or, or stop cancer cells from um, from forming so um, with that said I don't want this to be a long video for you guys I'm sure it's tough if you have any questions 
uh, by all means, please ask away. Um, I, on my channel, I do have two other videos about male breast cancer. Feel free to please go back and uh, start from the beginning and you can see my progression. I, other, I have also other things on my channel. Feel free to roam around. I have MacGruber's Adventure, which is my grandson and the things that he does. And uh, I have reviews on kitchen stuff um, and just mix matchy stuff. Uh, hopefully just for the, the regular person, that's something I can, I can help you with or if there's anything, please leave me a message and I will, will get back to you and let you know how the updates are going and everything. But uh, with that said, um, please get yourself checked. You know, I, I know I said it in my one of my videos. Uh, have your partner, have a friend, have your doctor check you. This is not something that is something as men will we think about. But uh, obviously it is possible. So um, do your due diligence. Remember, your health is in your hands. Uh, nobody else can take better care of you than you. You know when you're feeling good, you know when you're feeling bad. Um, I always used to say the main cancers I always worried about was um, pancreatic, colon, um, prostate, which I've had my prostate worked on. Uh, then I always worried. I, I never really thought about breast cancer, but... Um, Those, you know, those are pretty much, you know, the bigger things that you worry about as a man. Um, but breast cancer is is one of them. So keep that in mind. And uh, by all means, everybody have a very nice weekend because today is Friday. And since it, we're in December, happy holidays to everybody. And everybody, please be safe. Thank you again for watching my channel. And... Um, Enjoy your weekend. Thank you.